westbound 580 in Oakland. We get the details from Frank Munich. Well, it's westbound 580 just before Gulf Links Road. This is an injury crash involving a car that uh, landed on top of the center divide. Uh, so by definition, it's not blocking lanes, but it certainly is a visual hazard, and it's going to be a task uh, for uh, crews to try and lift that back uh, off of the top of the center divide and back into the center divide itself and eventually over to the right-hand shoulder. All that is westbound 580 just before Gulf Links Road in Oakland. Uh, car fire still on the shoulder of eastbound 84 just before the 680 split. Thankfully, nobody injured in this incident, but a lot of people have been standing around on the shoulder. Well, you can get traffic updates on X at KCBS AM FM Traffic. Your next traffic update is at 1148 on the traffic leader KCBS. Mostly cloudy tonight with a chance of light rain. Lows mid-40s to low 50s. Mostly cloudy tomorrow with a chance of light rain. Some expected highs, San Francisco, Oakland, Half Moon Bay and Sacramento, 63 degrees. Mill Valley, Concord and Livermore, 64, San Jose, 65. Traffic and weather together on the 8th on All News 1069 and AM 740 KCBS. Hey guys, Matt Coker here with West Coast Men's Health. Most guys don't realize that their AD started in their 40s. Symptoms of erectile dysfunction can be slight and subtle, but by treating your symptoms at the onset, you can avoid severe ED in the future. Mild ED is easily reversed at our clinic using our acoustic wave technology. Most men have accepted that ED is a part of getting older, but that's far from the truth. Our acoustic wave therapy has helped thousands of men restore function, whether they're in their 40s or their 80s. West Coast Men's Health also treats chronic pain, including neuropathy, plantar fasciitis, temperature contracture, and even carpal tunnel. So if this sounds like you, give West Coast Men's Health a call today and see how we can help. With clinics in San Mateo, Pleasanton, Walnut Creek, and Elk Grove, call West Coast Men's Health at 650-407-1168. That's 650-407-1168. 650-407-1168. Online at westcoastmenshealth.com. Since first opening its doors in 1964, Fremont Bank has approached banking with a simple idea in mind. Growth comes one customer at a time. You see, while some institutions might be on the lookout for the next big thing, we like to think that's what you'll be. And when you achieve great things, it leads to success throughout the community. It also allows us to continue our tradition of giving back to the region. It's a strategy that's proven successful for nearly 60 years, and we expect to continue success for years to come. Fremont Bank, putting the community in community banking. Oh, I think we're lost again. Wait, what does that sign over there say? Caution, wildlife crossing? No, next to it. If you're a six-year older, you may be at increased risk of serious consequences from RSV respiratory syncytial virus compared to adults younger than 60. Ouch. I didn't know that. Not all dangers come with warning labels. Talk to your pharmacist or doctor about getting vaccinated against RSV today. RSV vaccines, including Pfizer's, are available. Learn more at BewareOfRSV.com. Love to you by Pfizer. KCBS News Time 1141 as our news watch continues this Saturday night. A number of polls in recent weeks have shown former President Trump performing well among black and Hispanic voters, KCBS's Jennifer Hodgins has more. Back in 2020, Trump took just 8% of black voters and 36% of Hispanic voters. Now, polls show him at 20% and 42%. It's a combination of many things. Dante King, human resources management consultant and author of the 400-year Holocaust, says economic policies during COVID made a difference. That touched many lower class uh, impoverished people across America, including the people in the black community. And so black people gained a perception or felt they benefited from Trump's presidency. In the past 50 years, no Republican presidential candidate has approached receiving 20% of the black vote. Hispanic voters have trended towards the GOP in recent elections. Jennifer Hodges, KCBS. A new report concludes California is failing to provide a high quality the education to students in the juvenile justice system because of poor data collection. The report from the National Youth Law Center is a follow-up to a 2016 report that similarly found the state to be failing in its mission of providing students in juvenile detention with high quality.
quality education. According to the latest report, during the 2018-19 school year, nearly 20,000 students attended court schools in the state. In the 2022 school year, the number dropped by nearly half. Sunnyvale officials are considering a property transfer tax ballot measure for a second time. San Jose Spotlight is reporting that Sunnyvale City Council on Tuesday voted 5 to 1 to discuss putting a property transfer tax on the November 2024 ballot. The tax would bring more revenue into the city to help meet service and budget needs. The City Council previously discussed a property transfer tax in 2022, but the last minute proposal was deadlocked and never made it to the ballot. We'll check sports in less than 90 seconds. We see a lot of pollutants, like pet waste, cigarette butts, yard waste, and fluid leaks from vehicles on our highways and in our waterways. This isn't what we want. Clean highways, clean water. Now that is what we want. You can help change this to that by picking up after your pet, properly disposing of litter, and regularly servicing your vehicle. All Californians can protect our waterways. Learn how at cleanwaterca.com from the Caltrans Stormwater Program. In my quest for the perfect rest, I discovered the importance of the pillow, that is, the oxygen pillow from European Sleepwork. It's custom fitted to just the right height and firmness. No more crunching and bunching all night. It supports the head and neck, which also can help nighttime breathing. Find out why they sell thousands. The oxygen pillow from European Sleepwork at Adeline and Ashby in Berkeley or online at sleepworks.com. KCBS Radio, proud to be honored with the 2023 Marconi Award for Legendary Station of the Year, as presented by the National Association of Broadcasters. For more than a century, proudly serving the Bay Area and the trusted source for news. All news, 1069 and AM 740, KCBS. Coming up on KCBS... I'm Alice Wirtz at the Castro Theater, where the silent film festival is going on today. KCBS News Time, 11.45. Sports NBA action. The Warriors came up a little short on the road, losing to the L.A. Clippers, 113-112. to 112. With more sports, here's KCBS's Matt Pittman. It's not just a rematch of last season's NFC Championship game. It could be a preview of this year's as well. Key to the matchup, the best offensive line in the game, Phillies, versus the best defensive line in the game, the 49ers. Both the Eagles and Niners have a supremely talented front on defense. San Francisco had a season-high six sacks against Seattle last Thursday and has 15 sacks in three games since acquiring defensive lineman Chase Young from Washington. Eagles also present their own set of problems on the defensive line, but it is the Eagles' veteran offensive line that has 49ers defensive end Nick Bosa so concerned. But he knows this Eagles O-line protecting quarterback Jalen Hurts is about as good an O-line as they'll see all season. Uh, some of the best tackles we'll face, probably the best O-line we'll face. Um, just, just really good at, at keeping you off the quarterback. They'll let you get, get pushed and, and do that stuff, but they know their quarterback's mobile, so um, they hold on, they grab, they do all the bad, savvy stuff. 49ers and Eagles Sunday at 125 on Fox. At the sports desk, Matt Pittman, KCBS. Moments like seeing my son's team cheer him on mean a lot to me. But after being diagnosed with metastatic breast cancer, or MBC, which is breast cancer that is spread to other parts of the body, they mean even more. I take Ibram, Palbociclip. Ibram's 125 milligram tablet with an aromatase inhibitor is for adults with HR positive HER2 negative MBC as the first hormonal based therapy. Ask your doctor about Ibram and visit Ibram's.com. Ibram's may cause low white blood cell counts that may lead to serious infections. Ibram's may cause severe inflammation of the lung. Both of these can lead to death. Tell your doctor right away if you have new or worsening symptoms, including trouble breathing, shortness of breath, cough, or chest pain. Before taking Ibram's, tell your doctor if you have fever, chills, or other signs of infection, liver or kidney problems, are or plan to become pregnant, or are breastfeeding. Common side effects include low red blood cell and low platelet counts, infections, tiredness, nausea, sore mouth, abnormalities in liver blood tests, diarrhea, hair thinning or loss, vomiting, rash, and loss of appetite. Frank B. 
Munich has our latest look at traffic, starting with a crash westbound 580 San Leandro. Yeah, this was originally reported as westbound 580 and just before Golf Links Road in Oakland. It really is a little closer, according to our road sensors, to Dutton Avenue and just past the Dutton Avenue. Uh, that's a crash involving a car that's uh, wound up on top of the barrier on top of the center divide. Uh, crews are now trying to get that back on its wheels and back uh, onto the left-hand shoulder. Again, that's westbound 580 past Dutton Avenue in San Leandro. Uh, not much else uh, in the way of uh, trouble around uh, the Bay Area. That uh, car fire, uh, which we had had on the right-hand shoulder of the eastbound 84, just before the 680 split, uh, does appear now to uh, be clear. Well, a reminder that you can take KCBS with you on any device by downloading the Odyssey app and hitting the Follow KCBS button. Your next update at 11.58 is on the traffic leader, KCBS. Mostly cloudy tomorrow with more light rain, possible highs in the low to mid 60s. Partly to mostly cloudy for the coming week with highs for the most part in the 60s. Chance of rain Wednesday through Friday. Right now in San Francisco, Santa Rosa, and Pleasant Hill, it's 56 degrees. In Redwood City, 53 degrees. In Morgan Hill, it's 50 degrees. Traffic and weather together on the 8th on All News 1069 and AM 740 KCBS. Corey Smith is at the KCBS editor's desk. KCBS News Time is 11.49. San Francisco's Castro Theater hosted the Silent Film Festival today. KCBS's Alice Wurtz reports it could be the last festival like it at the Castro Theater ahead of the venue's $20 million renovation next year. The event is one of the last chances you'll get to sit in the Castro Theater chairs before the theater undergoes renovation. Anita Monga is executive director of this annual Silent Film Festival. Well, this is our next to last show at Castro Theater, so we just pulled out all the props. It's a big day when talking about silent films. Every single film in this day could be the centerpiece film. New research shows that adults are more imaginative than children. KCBS's Dan Mitchinson explains. That's because kids spend most of their time imagining real-world scenarios. What I thought I would see is that children would go from a point of accepting everything being possible and limiting it down to things that are actually possible. But it's actually the reverse. Um, children think that very little is possible. Andrew Stuhlman, professor of psychology at Occidental College, who conducted this research into imagination, says education, experience, and reflection leads adults to have a more vivid imagination. It's just we're more practical using it to solve problems or think about what we said to the boss. Those are all acts of imagination, too. They just have realistic content rather than fantastical content. Want to stretch your imagination? Set goals, role play, work, work. Think like a child. And the it's difficult for young people to break into the housing market. KCBS's Kathy Whitman reports on what they're doing to make ends meet. The Bay Area is one of the most expensive places to live, and young people are finding it difficult to purchase their first home. But there are other factors here. Not only do you have inadequate uh, supplies to purchase homes, but you also have rising interest rates, which means it's much more costly to be able to fit that into your budget. Doug Ressler with Yardy Matrix and Rent Cafe does research on the housing market. He says young workers are finding new ways to meet their housing needs. What we see is the beginning of large high-rise apartments going back in in San Francisco proper, in the peninsula. He says these new apartments are typically near transit hubs and come with full amenities. The typical renters are young and trying to save their money. Maybe have a year of uh, initial work at one of the large tech companies under their belt, 
uh, take him readily aboard to live in a very nicely appointed upper end product. Kathy Whitman, KCBS. Good news for big dogs and the people who love them. Brian Ping reports. The drug which has gotten preliminary FDA approval is aimed at improving the health and lifespan of large breeds which live much shorter lives on average than small dogs. Celine Haliwa is the CEO of the San Francisco-based biotech company Loyal. And this is a preventative medicine that's targeting what we think is the driver of big dogs having shorter lives. You know, your dog should also be on a heart rate medication. Your dog should you know, eat the right amount of food. It's one part of the process, but it's a tool that veterinarians and dog owners, you know, have not had available. And so I'm really excited to be bringing that to them. She tells us the main goal is to get the most out of a dog's ears, however many there may be. If you of an animal, they'll inherently have a longer life. So it's kind of improving quality of life first and then lifespan second. The drug is on track to be available by 2026. Saliba says she expects it to cost less than $100 a month. Brian Ping, KCBS. Americans will probably buy more electric vehicles than ever this year. Here's why and why there's still a long way to go. I'm Jeff Coleman of Fortune Magazine with the Fortune Business Update. EV sales will likely hit a record 9% of all passenger vehicles sold in the U.S. this year. So says the research firm Atlas Public Policy. The main reason is pretty simple. EV makers cut their prices. Tesla, the market leader in the U.S., led the way, cutting prices multiple times throughout the year. That forced other automakers to cut their own prices. Tesla doesn't have dealerships, but dealers of companies such as General Motors and Ford are discounting more deeply as EV supply builds up with their dealerships. EVs reaching 9% of this year's vehicles sold is a big increase, but nowhere near some other countries. EVs reached 33% of sales in China, 35% in Germany, and 90% in Norway. I'm Jeff Coleman. Abbas Law is a rescue station for people who have been injured. One problem faced by a lot of people is that their medical insurance doesn't provide what they need. People come to us with state-funded insurance plans, like Medi-Cal, Medicaid, and Medicare. When they've been injured, they often find there's a long waiting period before they can get the treatment they need. And that treatment is often very limited. Even when you have private insurance and have been extremely injured, you often can't get quick access to the doctors you need. And then the insurance company and the people who injured you will say, if they were really injured, they would have gone to the doctor sooner. When you've been injured, you need to be rescued. Rescued from the insurance company. Our law office is a rescue station for people who have been injured. We're good rescuers. If you've been injured, let us rescue you. Call Habit Law at 1-800-INJURED. Talk with us and your day will get a whole lot better. Furniture Outlet's annual Black Friday event has been extended through Monday. You'll find everything you need to brighten up your home or make your workplace more comfortable. And everything is on sale at their lowest prices of the year. Our prices are always super low because they lease their furniture for use in model homes, movies and television by home stagers and corporate offices. And when the furniture comes back, they sell it for pennies on the dollar. But now, during Court Furniture Outlet's Black Friday event, you'll save even more on all new and previously rented furniture. New Sleeper sectionals with storage, regularly $8.99, now just $5.99. Plus sofas from $2.99. Check out their mattress gallery. Twin extra-long mattress sets from $1.49. And California King sets from $49.99. Plus free wall art with every purchase. Exclusion supply. Hurry in while supplies last. With locations in San Francisco on Sutter and Van Ness. And Cupertino on Stevens Creek Boulevard. Check them out on Yelp or go to courtfurnitureoutlet.com. That's C-O-R-T furnitureoutlet.com. Save big every day during our 25 day deal and load. Right now, get the lowest prices of the year on select major appliances. Get up to 45% off and save an extra $100 on every $800 you spend on select major appliances. And buy now, pay later with Lowe's Pay. Because Lowe's knows deals every day. About the 12 seconds. Client savings vary based on purchase amount. Exclusion supply. Walk supply class. Selection varies by location. See Lowe's.com for details. Subject to credit. That's the sound of Downy Unstoppable Thin Beats going into your washing machine and giving your clothes freshness that lasts all day long. There it is again. It's like music to your ears. 